Greetings YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today we are hanging out with our daughter Katie, I'm going to let that truck pass by, at her studio, C'est La Vie Photography Studio and Boutique. Say hello. hello. She's visiting Katie at C'est La Vie Photography and Boutique. Yay! You look too cute. Okay, here's Katie, our daughter. She's the one that owns C'est La Vie Photography and Boutique, and she's sitting behind the counter right now, taking care of business and getting ready for a photo shoot. our beautiful courthouse. I wanted to show you the square and how quiet it is with everything going on. Look at all the little tables that are usually full of people having lunch. There's no one here. There's people driving around the square, just kind of checking things out. Everybody's trying to get out of the house because of cabin fever and just taking a drive, but it is dead. It is so quiet. Katie has quite a few photo shoots, so that's why we are here today helping her out. Um, but otherwise, um, she's gotten a few sales, but it's been very, very quiet. Very, very quiet here on the square. I think it's kind of that way all over the place now, just completely dead. Okay, guys. We're back on the homestead after a day of helping Katie at her studio. We love to every now and then go over there and help her, especially when she has newborn photo shoots. She had two today, a little boy and a little girl. And I just get to come along and get baby hugs. And it helps her also that um, I'm there when um, baby gets fussy, just to kind of help out a little bit. And the kiddos get to come along and hang out at her studio. And we just love spending some time with Katie. We just wanted to show you. Um, she's been a photographer for 10 years now. And she used to be upstairs on the square, but she found a studio downstairs that came available. And she was excited and she was able to get that and decided to turn half of it into a boutique. The square is quite a hopping place usually, not this time of year right now, but... Um, so we're hoping that, you know, when this all blows over, that her little boutique will do well. She's only been open for um, a few weeks now. We had a grand opening for her. Wanted to come over here and show you. We've moved the sheep and the goats over here by the trailer so that they could eat up all of this grass for us. It's wonderful because they're just kind of keeping things down and we don't have to mow a whole lot. So they're over here, and as you can tell, they've done a really good job of eating this all down. So we're kind of giving that a rest. And then we will move them back in there. There they are. We had something kind of sad happen on the homestead yesterday. Hannah 
our Katahdin back there. Let me see if I can zoom in on her. There she is behind the tree right there. She was pregnant and she had a baby that was stillborn. It was very, very sad. She gave birth to it. McCaden watched her. Baby was dead upon arrival, but she was trying to bond with it and clean it and lick it. Those things are always so sad when they happen on the homestead. Not much you can do about it, but she's doing all right right now. Just kind of sad. We were looking forward to another baby lamb, but wasn't meant to be this time. There's Mary and Martha. And there's our vicious watchdog, Dutchie. Doesn't seem like the hot wire has affected her. I wonder if it's off. <laughs> we better fix it, huh? Before they figure it out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end for now. I hope you liked coming along with us and spending the day at Katie's studio and seeing some of the sheep and the goats. It's always fun to share them with you, good times and bad. Um, it was a full day helping with babies, but oh, so rewarding. And then it's so much fun to just be able to come back home on the homestead and just play with the animals and relax and check on the garden and it's doing so well. This is my time of the year. Just love being home. But I hope this, uh, this video finds you all well. Um, hopefully you're not getting cabin fever. <laughs> I know it's a real thing. Get outside when the sun is nice. Sit out in the sun. They say that vitamin D is supposed to help with the coronavirus. They actually say that the sun kills it. I don't know, it's what I've heard. So if you can't get out in the sun, take vitamin D because they say it really helps and drink a lot. But anyway, guys, if you like what you see, share our video with some friends. That would really help us out. And um, give us a thumbs up. Until next time, guys, God bless you.